Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This chemistry. And today I'm going to look into or continue our study on oxidation and reduction reaction by of course taking a look at test. Test for oxidizing and reducing agents. Alright, this will be the first part. Okay, because in this class, I'm going to look at what test for what was there's an agent. Why in the next episode, we'll look at tests for reducing agents. All right, know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3D School Jump app. Trust me when I say that is all you need for sure success in your exam. It has all the past questions you ever need. It has some wonderful features, such as, of course, the uh, classroom feature where you have a teacher, an AI power teacher that teaches you as you try to decipher answer to questions. Wonderful feature, by the way. We have some other wonderful feature like the question search feature, where you can search for questions by topic. Okay, and then we also have, of course, the bomb, the UTM challenge. It's a challenge that will conduct every Saturday morning around 10 a.m. till one week, every Saturday till one week to your exam. All right, so you get an opportunity to participate with thousands of other jam rights. All right, you compete with them to win prizes. It's like a mock, a standard jam mock exam. So you are competing what to win what prizes, and of course you are what since you are getting some other wonderful benefits like one you are getting used to how jam said that question. Right, you are building your confidence and will release your result every Saturday after every challenge. So you get to see your result per your subject combination. So there, if I see your results, you are going to be able to identify your weak areas and your strengths so that you can be able to work on your weak areas. Wonderful features, other wonderful features such as educational games and so on and so forth to relax you while trying to learn. So please uh, download that app immediately and activate in case the app is also available anyway for, uh, for, for your computers. Okay, it's available for your phones and your computers. So you want to download for your PC, just send a message on WhatsApp on 0912151. Five to forces. Okay, so they'll send a message on WhatsApp that you want to download for your computer. I will send you the link through this WhatsApp. All right, so also if you want to activate, activation is 3000 error as at the time of shooting this video. All right, so you can also send a message on WhatsApp and we will attend to you uh, within what uh, some few hours. Okay, so now we're looking at a test for oxidizing what and reducing what agents. Test for oxidizing and reducing agents. Okay, now what happens here is that we use oxidizing agents to test for reducing agents, and then we use reducing agents to test for oxidizing agents. That is a simple technique we what employ here. So the simple technique we employ here is that we use what oxidizing agent to test for reducing agents, and then we use reducing agents to test for oxidizing agents. That is to say. If you want to test for one for an oxidizing agent, you take what another what substance that can be oxidized. Okay, you take another what substance that can be that, that can be what oxidized. That second substance that you are taking that can be oxidized is the what reducing agent. Remember when we were doing balancing of redox reactions in the previous episodes, I told you that that oxidized species, okay, in in the redox reactions. Are good reducing what agents they are reducing what agents why reduce species are what oxidizing agents so it works what vice versa so if you want to test one oxidizing agent you take what a reducing agent right you use a reducing agent and if you want to test for a reducing agent you use an oxidizing agent okay so in this class like i said i'm going to what test for what oxidizing what agents all right in this class now how do you test for oxidizing agent one you use what's what to call hydrogen sulfide Okay, hydrogen or sulfide. When hydrogen sulfide is bubbled through an unknown solution of a substance, right? And you see a yellow deposit, and a yellow deposit is seen. When hydrogen sulfide is bubbled through a solution, through an unknown solution of a substance, an unknown solution of a substance, and a yellow deposit is seen, then that substance is an oxidizing agent. Okay, so that yellow coloration that is seen or that deposit that is seen, all right, confirms or that it's an oxidizing agent. Why? <clears throat> it is because when hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide, this hydrogen sulfide H2S, okay, when it's what? It, if, if what loses all this hydrogen to form sulfur, right? When it loses this hydrogen to form sulfur, you see that what the oxidation number of sulfur, right, will change from minus two 
to zero because when what hydrogen sulfur loses what hydrogen to form sulfur the oxidation number of what sulfur changes from minus two to what to zero which shows what an increase an increase in oxidation number okay so when hydrogen sulfur is bubbled through an unknown solution of a whole substance and a yellow deposit is seen then that substance is an oxidizing agent. It is because when hydrogen sulfide, H2S, loses what is hydrogen to, what, to form what sulfur, to form just sulfur, the, the oxidation state of sulfur changes from minus 2 to 0. How do you confirm this? Of course, you can see. If you want to confirm the oxidation what number of sulfur here, yeah, right, you see that what uh, this hydrogen is what is plus 1, okay? So 1 into what 2, then plus sulfur equals to what 0. The one times two is was two plus s is what zero. S is equal to two. Come to this side, that to be minus two. So initially it was minus two. The oxidation number of our software was minus two initially. But when it's what loses what hydrogen, when this hydrogen what is gone and it gives only sulfur, right? What's the oxidation state of sulfur? It's in the free state. It's a free compound. So the oxidation state of sulfur will be what will be zero. Okay. So the oxidation number has increased from minus two initially. To what? To zero. This shows what? What? This shows an increase in oxidation number. And how do you define what? Oxidation. We say oxidation is what is increase in oxidation number due to what? Loss of what? Of electrons. Okay? So, please, that is what one way we can what we can test for what? For oxidizing what? Agent. So, let's go to the second one. Now, we can also test for oxidizing agents using ion 2 chloride. Okay, we can test for oxidizing agent using what? FeCl2. This is hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide. All right, this is what? Ion 2 chloride. Okay, now we can also test for what? For uh, oxidizing agent using what? Ion 2 chloride. Right now, when a solution of ion 2 chloride is added to an unknown solution of a substance, when a solution of what ion 2 chloride is added to an unknown solution of a substance, all right, and then the, the mixture turns green and the mixture turns green, right? When uh, ion 2 chloride, when a solution of ion 2 chloride is added to an unknown solution of a substance and the mixture turns what green, then what that substance is that unknown substance is an oxidizing agent okay so when a solution of ion 2 chloride is added to a what an unknown solution of what of a substance and the mixture turns what green then that substance is an what is an oxidizing agent that is to say how does this happen this is because the what the ion 2 what ions are what oxidized to what to ion 3 what ions which is what brown in color Okay, because what the reason is because the ion 2 ion, right? The ion 2 ion that is what Fe 2 plus is oxidized to what ion 3 ion Fe what 3 plus, which is what this one is brown, is brown in what is brown in what in color. Okay, so initially the solution is green, right? The, the mixture is what is green, but what if it, it eventually what turns what brown due to the oxidation of ion 2 ion by atmospheric what oxygen to ion 3 what ion, which is brown in color. Okay, so this is how you can test for what for oxidizing what agent. You can use hydrogen sulfide, we can use what ion 2 or chloride. We can also use potassium iodide. Potassium iodide. All right, we can also use what potassium or iodide to what to test for what for oxidizing what agent. So when you are using potassium oxide to test for uh, oxidizing agent, you see that what the solution turns from colorless, it turns from colorless, colorless to brown. Okay, we are testing for what for oxidizing agent agent using potassium iodide. The solution turns from what from colorless or to brown. Please take note of what of these colors. Okay, they are very important. So for hydrogen sulfide. The solution first of all what turns what yellow so a yellow deposit sort is seen yellow deposit yellow deposit so for with ion 2 chloride right the solution what turns what green the mixture turns what green and the due to what to the oxidation of what of ion 2 ion to ion 3 ion okay now 
you are seeing what how to test for what us destiny agent in this episode please like this video subscribe to this channel share to others so that they can learn and in the next episode we are going to look at how to test for reducing agents see you in that class